Welcome back YouTube. Look what we got for 1400 bucks. But before I show you this, let's go look at the camper. Britt's been working tirelessly. That's what her whole body looked like when she came out of there yesterday. White. She's been working hard. I don't know if you can see it, but can you see all just the millions and billions of fuzzies that are flying around our neighborhood? I'm gonna try to zoom in on them. It is kind of pretty, actually. It's our whole neighborhood right now. Look at it. Wow. Pretty, all right. I wasn't gonna work on anything today, but she shamed me into it, as usual. Who, me? Cause she be shaming me into stuff. Never. I wanted to just sit around and be a lazy bum. Yeah. I did kind of pry him <laughs> off the couch. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> How's it going, babe? Uh, you gotta push the button. It's I gotta, good. I gotta show, oh, you got fuzzies flying around in your bathroom. No, get it before 6 Yeah. Oh, wow. Well. But check out the shower. Hold on, I gotta make sure I'm all the way zoomed out. She painted the shower with some epoxy. It was like it's an almond white yellow. Again. It was like a nasty almond yellow. Did you already put a coat on the toilet? You did, didn't you? Yeah. It's whiter than it was. She did the it sink. It was like this color. The color Look of at this the tape. sink. Like, she's just spraying everything and then she's gonna paint. You know, obviously she's getting on the walls. I yelled at her for it. But she's gonna paint the walls, supposedly. <laughs> so the shower's white. Oh, there we go. You almost gotta do this, honey. We gotta get rid of it. Oh, I know. I'm going to. I was just waiting for this. There, to dry. you can see the yellow. It was like that weird yellow. She painted the door. She is currently taping off the cabinets. Yep. Kicking butt, honey. Did you show them? She the, likes this thing, so. Did you show Look at this guy, I'm so psyched. Boom, the battery. Blue doors inside. The whom, Noah? The blue doors that I painted. Oh, not yet, I just started. <laughs> Have you seen all the fuzzies flying around? Yeah, the it's neighborhood? ridiculous. We're gonna Look at this. Kids with like, we seriously? Allergies. Oh my gosh, that's a picture. I'm gonna be screenshotting this. Can you see them all? Oh yeah. Look at the zoom on this. Like, this is the creeper cam of the century. Yeah. Howdy neighbor. Oh my God, don't. That person is like 10 houses down. Yeah. But look at that. Can you see that, honey? Oh my gosh. <laughs> and actually zoom all the way this way with our tree. It would that's be That's what pretty. I said, it's like pretty, like right to the doorway. Yeah. So we'll keep it out right It is pretty. Yeah, but, so yeah, she's working on the camper, but check out what we got for 1400 and this, remember I said, make sure you look at the kooky, quirky ads that don't make sense. I'm going to go find my phone, and then we're going to go over this ad, what this said, and then you're going to see how I got it so cheap and why, and I just want you to look up, go to Facebook Market in your area, type in 2007 Grand Cherokee, see what they're going for. See if you can find one for 1400 bucks real quick. Let me go find my phone. All right guys, this is the ad. Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo Sport Utility four-door. He was asking 2500 down to two. I ended up picking it up for 14. I'll show you that. He said, 2000 or best offer. Let me get the read more on. This Jeep is a mechanical mystery. It does run, and you can probably drive it home. It's just a bit loud. The body on this Jeep is actually in pretty nice shape. Pretty much everything but the engine and the upholstery on the seats is in nice shape as well. Engine does need to be replaced or very majorly worked on. And there's just a 3.6, so I'm not sure if the block is worth it to you. Message if you have any additional questions, and of course, and of course, if you are, whatever, yeah. So that was the ad, right? And then here's the pictures. Let's just look at, this is the ad. So I had looked at the ad a few times and I'm like, man, it's interesting, but needs an engine. Why the hell does it need an engine? It runs a drive. It's like, we'll probably drive you home, you know? All right, so yes, needs an engine. So naturally, I'm like, so what's the, Jeep doing, I asked, you know, just what's it doing? His response was, well, it stalled out on my mom 
like four times in the four years she's owned it. So naturally, me being me, I ask, well, why does it need an engine? You know, he said, oh, well, because my brother and my uncle are mechanics and they've cleaned the throttle body and they replaced O2 sensors and the plugs and all that stuff and they cannot figure out why it would have stalled out. I said, has it stalled out recently? He said, no. Um, maybe once in the last couple of months. I said, so can I come drive it and drive it home? He said, yeah, you know, come look at it. Well, I played the whole, it needs an engine card. You know what I mean? Because if he said that, I'm going to go with it. I said, well, I'll come look at it, you know, and uh, I priced an engine at 800 bucks. So if I can buy it for 14, I'll buy it for 14 and replace the engine, you know? And uh, he said, yeah. I take 14, it needs an engine. So I go there and I drive it. Sure as crap, get there, I'm looking at it. You know, it's, it's not the nicest Jeep. You know, it's one of the ones that a single woman has owned. You know, it's not been taken care of. Just look at it, I mean, it's it's got potential. I already did put air in all three of these tires. Don't let that fool you. Tires were damn near flat. It's got the spare on it. It did not have the fourth tire. I made him go back to his mom's house and get the fourth tire because I'm like, well, I kind of need that, you know? So, let's see. He went back, got the fourth tire. It's got a slit around it. Let's check it out. Right there. Look at that. So, something happened there. Who knows what. So that happened, it, you know, it's got that, it's got that right there. Um, but predominantly, rust free. This tire was almost flat. Um, the exhaust is loud. But geez, I mean, you take these seat covers off. Oh Jesus, yeah. Then we're gonna stay on there. <laughs> but I mean, it's not completely rusty. And it's an 07, it is an all-wheel drive. So it's got four-wheel drive. It's got the 3.6 in it. Now here, listen to this and tell me if you think it needs an engine. Does that sound like something that needs an engine to you? So, her son posted the ad for her why he said it needs a new engine, I have no clue. But thank the Lord, because he turned away everybody that would've came and bought this thing, except for me. You know, I used to, when I was a kid, my dad, he would always buy and sell stuff, and I'd see stuff on the side of the road. And you know, you'd see a for sale sign, and I'd be like, you should turn around and look at that. See what it's going for. No, it's way too expensive, we can't afford it. Well, how the hell do you know if you don't stop and look? You know what I mean? I've always been that guy that'll stop and look. Even if it is, you know, usually a $10,000 thing. What if you get it cheaper? So yeah, naturally, I messaged. It needs a muffler. I'm gonna find some tires for it, hopefully. I do wanna find some tires for it because I gotta get that other tire on there. I can't sell it with a spare on it. But I could sell it for two grand today the way it is. We did end up having to sit in the Secretary of State for a few hours because the lady didn't have the title, but whatever. We got to know her real well, got to know the story on it. All she said is, yeah, it, they don't know why it did it. They cleaned the throttle body, um, did full tune-ups. They got all the receipts from the shops that worked on it. Her brother works at a shop, I guess, I don't know. The receipts are there. Um, yeah hasn't stalled out in a while but she's been driving her company van or truck or her boyfriend's car whatever it's got 195 on it it's got an engine light so I can actually scope that see what it's doing um, but yeah other than that guys what do you think is it a is it a $1,400 Jeep I mean heck I sold the last one for two grand and that one was rusty and you know wasn't that rusty, but it was clean. This is real clean, you know? It's all wheel drive. An all wheel drive Jeep for 1400 bucks. 07, under 200K, yeah. We're gonna make money off it. 
Listen to that muffler. It does need a muffler, which I'm going to go get tonight. Well, then. Well, that'll make someone not like their car right there alone. You drive around for a month with a bad muffler and the vibrations that come from it, the sound, the smells that come in the car. Good God, I swear by the end of that month, you will be so turned off with this car. It's not even funny. I would like to try to find a bumper for it. It's cracked. Um, but if I can't, I can still make money, you know? I do have my tire changer. So you might get another tire change video. We'll see. I don't know yet. But it runs and drives and shifts freaking great. Like, it drove home just fine. I, it shifts awesome. It's got manual shift along with, you know, automatic. You just go down and over. And the inside looks good. You can hear it's just loud inside here. Just kind of blah, 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 blah. She didn't like it anymore. Which, cool by me. But that does not need an engine, guys. That is why. That's why you ask questions. At least, why do you think it needs an engine? Or what is it doing? Because I scrolled past this ad probably 10 freaking times before finally just saying, all right, screw it, I gotta. The way he worded it, I gotta ask. You know, I could tell he doesn't know nothing about cars. So finally we asked and yeah, it needs an engine because it's stalled four times in the last four years. And they can't figure out why it stalled. So change the engine, guys. But, yeah, so stay tuned. We'll be working on this one. Probably putting tires on wheels, welding in a muffler, and cleaning. That one's still sitting out there. Haven't found a wood door for it yet. Haven't even really looked. Um, it's been a quiet four days. We've just kind of been relaxing. Haven't really found anything. Finally. I was getting worried I could not find anything to buy. For four days I was looking. I've been talking to the guy about this for two days before I finally pulled the trigger. It was either this or a 2003 Grand Cherokee that was hit in the front, but they already bought all the parts to fix it. But I would have been putting a hood on, a front grill, bumper, headlights, radiator support, radiator. Even though he had the parts, you know, it was to me it was just elbow grease, not money. So I would have made money. Britt's been in here every day working on this thing. Just going at it. She's trying to get it done. RV makeover. <laughs> She's got the RV makeover going. I have a Are you doing all the cabinets? Well, right now I'm painting the kitchen cabinets, which is this set and this set is going to be the blue, the same color as the doors inside. Mm. And then all the walls in these cabinets are all going to be white. Gotcha. Yikes. All right. It's going to look awesome. Well, I'm glad you like that stuff. She had me pull all the window shades and stuff off. Um, the entertainment center, it's all right there. Um, the shelving that was in the corner, which had to come off anyway because I got to run some wood in there. So, yeah, it's, it's been be a lazy good. few days. We both, we quit smoking a few months ago. We went Woo! to a vape stick or a vape pen to get nicotine. We did that for a few weeks, weaned ourselves down, then we went to the gum, and we only went, we only had two boxes of gum, and we told ourselves, well, Britt told us that we were not going to buy any more and that we were going to be done. So, the last four days, we've been free of nicotine, we finally quit smoking, and everything that comes with it, we're doing it. We're doing good. So we're it's been even a, going on walks at night. It's been a rough four days we're making it through it we're gonna get back to filming again it totally just kind of slowed our roll down we needed a woosah we but now life looks just like this beautiful tree and sun back on, the grind. back on the grind so stay tuned we will be working on exhaust tires I got to get my tire changing machine back down I just put it up there which is good because it's sitting up there in that box. Because I put it away without putting all my stuff in it. I gotta put the rest of the machine in there. I was kinda cleaning the garage one day. Don't let this thing fool you. It does have a crack there. But like I said, I want you to do homework. 
go on your local Facebook market, type in 2007 Jeep Grand Cherokee, um, all wheel drive, see what they're going for. Please put it in the comments. Will I make money off this or will I not? Her mom, Britt's mom and sister were actually looking at the same exact Jeep, not this one, but same body style, same year, same style for $6,000 they were gonna buy this for. Everything we've seen is 3,900 and up, um, even up to $6,000, from four grand to $6,000. Would I expect four grand out of this? I don't know, once I get that exhaust quieted down, get some tires on it, get it cleaned up, I'll assess it with what I see on Facebook market at the, you know, at this time, and then I'll make my, my final price. But right now, I think no lower than 3,500 bucks. I think if I put it up at 3,500 bucks with good tires, quiet exhaust, running and driving the way it does, reliably, $3,500 will sell it on the first day because it's at least $800 cheaper than any other one on there. But moral to the story and why I'm posting this short video today is I know I said ask 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 if they say a car won't start ask why it won't start ask when you turn the key does it turn over and just won't start or when you turn the key does nothing happen that tells you all right it's either a starter or it's something big starters are cheap this one why does it need to you know does it run yes does it knock no um will it drive me home yes why is the motor blown um because it stalled on my mom four times in the last four years she's owned it. No one can figure out why. It's got to be something in the motor. <laughs> Ask the questions, guys. I want you to know anything deep internally in a motor that would make something not start or make something shut off would be, anything internal would be knocking, ticking, clacking, grinding. Deep internals to the motor are all metal. The only thing that's not metal on a motor are the external electronic parts. Now, electronics heat up once they get warm. My assumption is it's something electronic. When she brought it in before, they had already put a new computer on this. I've got a receipt. It's got all new O2 sensors, plugs, wires, um, full complete tune-up. So I'll get some new oil in it. I'll get. I'll go over it, see if I can get it to stall, but he said it hasn't stalled in a long time. It was sitting on almost, you know, three flats on a spare tire, dirty with a loud exhaust. That tells me right there. That's why mom said, get this thing away from me. I don't like it. It's a piece of crap. Get it away. She just bought a 2010 Mitsubishi Endeavor and she just didn't want this no more. So yeah, this is why I say, always ask because even so right now if i were to buy this for my 15 year old son for his first car he'd be happy and i would have stole it under half price listen to that motor purr guys just listen to it there's no way no way i can't believe it we scored somehow i always end up getting these weird freaking deals i love it i don't know how i do it but I know it all started, you know, me being a kid telling my dad to stop and look at those cars and him always just saying, nope, we can't afford them. Nope, it's this, nope, it's that. So now me, I am trained to hunt for the ones that are cheap, to hunt for the ones that are affordable and that, you know, it's just a quirky little thing where someone's sick of it or it's something people don't want to deal with, something they've had, who knows why people get sick of cars? We all do it. Um, but yeah, stay tuned, guys. We will be working on this. I gotta go get tires, exhaust tonight. I will post another video. Britt's gonna be in there painting. I'll show you where we're at with that. Thanks for watching all my videos, guys. Thank you, all my new subscribers. You guys are amazing. Please continue to watch the videos. I will continue to show you what I do, how I do it, and how you can do it too. Don't forget to like the video, share the video. Just give it a big thumbs up, guys. This is a win for us. We're gonna make some money. Yeah. 
We'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.